Well, hello. I bet you wonder what I've been doing with my day today. Well, I've been doing some weeding and uh, it's at the end of the day now. And I thought, you know, I had better do my end of the day things. I need to check on my grapes and um, check in on my strawberries a little bit. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And I'm so glad that you've come along <laughs> and we can do that together. So come on, let's get to it. I'm gonna kind of switch these around in this direction so they're not hanging out in the path. I'm gonna put a little water in the area. There we go. Make sure we're making contact. There we go. And I'm gonna cover that area with soil. Right there. There we go. Too. My soil on the top isn't all that, at the bottom isn't all that wet, is it? There we go. So here we go. This is the part that's going back to the original plant, and these are the ones that are uh, coming off to the side. Yeah, so let's hope this is going to be good. Next chore. And here's the grapevine, so I started with cinnamon. Everybody seems to be pretty happy. This one looks like we need water. And then you'll see I've got two more here. I've got actually four more here. And everybody seems to be doing just fine right now. So I'm going to water this and then we have the strawberries to talk about. Here's the strawberry I had weighed down last week. Here's the little rock I here's the little rock I had on it. And look, it's in there, you guys. Can I get that? I don't think I can get it any closer to show you it's in there. Yeah. That was quick, right? Now let's find us a strawberry. Uh, think we got good seeds there? Let's check another one over here. Sorry for the hands. This one looks like it's got lots of good so let's Take this one. Here you go, here's a strawberry. And I've got two pots. I'm not going to put it in the same pot. And this soil is definitely wet. Definitely. I'm going to make a little hole here. Nobody told me how deep to put these, but I'm just going to bury them kind of shallow because see how shallow that's going to be. Then I need to cut this in half. Oop, are you, I'm not worried you can see me. There you go. Cut in half. Oops. The soil fell over in there. I'm just going to stick it down in there. Cover it just lightly. And I'm going to put this in the shade tunnel too until I see something. And I've got the other half here. I'm going to take the stem off. I don't see why I still have that. And then it goes too. There we go. <laughs> you know what? We were almost getting out without uh, <laughs> doing things I had in my pocket for us to do. Let's see. We did the grapes that Bibet was telling me about that's in the ground. We've checked under the grapes under the tree. And um, um, yeah, that's where, where we need to be, under the tree still. <laughs> Anyway, let me tell you how we got more than the four that I started. Um, in my comments, the next morning I was reading and Tisha, thank you Tisha, she directed me to a video that Lead Farmer 73 did, right? 
Um, he's talking about uh, rooting cuttings for, of citrus. Is that right? Well, anyway, you can go over and take a look. And most of you know this channel. This is a channel I've heard a lot about. And I keep saying, you know, I'm going to go over there and check that channel out. And I hadn't until that morning. But anyway, he used his own raw honey. And I thought, yeah, I've got honey and I also have a clear glass just like he had. That's what I'm going to do too. I'll start too. Reading down in his comments, one of the people said that they use aloe. Hey, I got an aloe plant too. So let's just start two of those too. So that's how I got to, to um, um, the eight. I've got my four with cinnamon, two with honey, and two with aloe. So we'll see how they do. Um, <laughs> yeah, and now we've got those started under the tree with none. So we'll see how we go. Um, I also looked up what are some good substitutes for rooting hormones. And on Preparedness Grandma, that's a website, and she's got an old YouTube channel that only has like three videos on it, but uh, she's not using that anymore. But anyway, let's see what uh, Preparedness Mama had. She had a list of seven things. Um, the first one, your own saliva. saliva. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you can figure out how that would work. And then she said, apple cider vinegar, go light, go light with that. And of course, you better go light with it because I think, if I'm not mistaken, vinegar kills weeds. People use it for, you know, to kill weeds. Um, her recipe is two teaspoons per gallon. And then cinnamon kills fungus and bacteria. And you're using that just like that powdered rooty hormone. And honey, it's an antibacterial. And so that's another one you're just digging, dipping in. Aspirin, you use one. 325 milligram to a gallon of water and I know aspirins are okay because I use that with Epsom salt to green up my um, tomatoes I got that little tip from the bed is in the garden and then she said willow tea the um, video that I watched the guy actually used willow little willow sticks you know with his so yeah there must be something to that so uh, the seven, number seven is fresh aloe. So yeah, so those are some good substitutes. And uh, I guess with that being said, <laughs> hold on, I still have one more thing. I still have one more thing. For Cheryl, uh, she has the um, Cheryl's Organic Food Forest. You know, <laughs> my name is an issue sometimes my married name not Patricia we all know Patricia but Nube is a is a problem N-C-U-B-E -E. the C clicks goes so it's Nube yeah so that's just for you Cheryl <laughs> let's see is that all we have for today yes I think it is we have talked about substitutes for rooting hormone um, we have checked the um, grape plants we've got started all eight of them and why we've got them started that way we've got um, four with cinnamon two with aloe and two with raw honey and we have um, the ones that we started under the um, prickly pear so that's all the grapes we got going right and then strawberries we got two in the pots here I will check their spot and make for sure they're getting partial sun tomorrow. And um, we check the one that's already was in the pot. It's connected to the ground, root it fine there. And then the ones, the seeds that are in the refrigerator, there's condensation on the bag. So that's a very quick <laughs> review of things. And so. I guess with all that being said, I guess it's time for me to uh, really say goodbye this time. So I want to thank you for spending some time with me. And uh, <laughs> it's been fun. It's been fun. So until next time, I'm going to say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.